What's up guys? This is the Ring MU6. It's an open ear wireless headset. I've reviewed a lot of headphones and they consist of in-ear, on-ear or over-ear. This is the first time I'm reviewing something called open ear which uses air conduction. This is slightly different to bone conduction headphones which kind of uses vibrations through the skull to allow you to listen to your music. So let's go ahead and take a look at these headphones. Right, so these are the headphones. They are IP55 waterproof, so it's perfect for extreme weather or sweating, but obviously I wouldn't recommend submerging them in water. And they are very light. It's only 35 grams, so they can easily be kept on for long periods of time. But since it is made of plastic and doesn't have any form of soft rubber or memory foam padding, it can probably start hurting after having it on for a few hours consistently. But I do like the design. As you can see, you can pretty much twist it and it is very durable, it's flexible, it doesn't feel like it's going to snap. On the right hand side you can see there's only a single button. Now this button controls everything from powering this on and off, to your music playback, to volume controls, skipping tracks, answering and ending phone calls, etc. You have this tiny little flap here, if you just open this up, now this is where you'll have the micro USB charging port. The playtime is around 9 hours and it can charge fully in about 1.5 hours but on standby mode you can probably have up to 200 hours, which I think is great. It's a shame it's not USB-C, but it does give you a long enough battery life to be able to enjoy these fully. Now just looking at the side pieces, this is the speaker. This rotates up to 120 degrees, so the speaker there will actually face towards your ear. And this is actually a one size fits all design, so you can't actually adjust the length of the headband. This is all fixed, but it's tight enough to basically fit any size head. Again, you just twist the other one, and this is actually how it will look when you put it on. So it's very straightforward and it's very easy to do. The first time you turn this on, it will go into pairing mode, and of course you just find it in your Bluetooth settings. Hit pair on the Ring MU6, and then you're ready to go. If you are going to use this to take phone calls or even connect this to your laptop to take online meetings, the microphones are pointed at the bottom of the side pieces, so that's really good because it's the direction of your mouth whereas the side speakers are for the direction of your ears. So it's a very well thought out design. Let me go ahead and just put this on. I'll put it fully like this. So you connect it, place it just on top of your ears, and then you twist it downwards. And this kind of locks it into place. So it's ideal if you wanna go running, but this is perfect for those people that want the full flexibility of having the environment and ambient sounds around them, if that's a really key thing for you. And sometimes a lot of people, when they use headphones all day long, it does start hurting your ears, regardless of whether it's in-ear, on-ear or over-ear. This one, you can pretty much eliminate that worry because it's not gonna be sitting anywhere on top of your ears or really touching them to the point where it's gonna start hurting. So I think that's a really convenient thing. Design-wise, you know, I think it looks quite good. And I really like the fact that I can just have my ears open. It's quick and easy to put on, and I don't need to fiddle about getting the tightest fit with in-ear headphones or anything like that. So that's really great. Now, the one thing I want to do is now test, obviously, the audio quality. So I'm going to connect this to my phone and then play some sample music. But when I do that, I'm gonna let you know how the quality of the audio is and also how much noise leak it is. And because it is open air conduction, people will be able to hear if you have it on loud volumes. So that's one key thing to be aware of. So if you are going to use this in an office environment where there is people around you, or maybe you're in a place, maybe on a public transport, then other people might be able to hear this and this might not be the best headphones to have in that scenario. But if you're on your own, you're training in the gym, you're going for a run, you're just in your own home office, this is perfect for that. So let's go ahead and pair this and I'll give you a review on the audio. Okay, it's just connected. Now my shotgun microphone is just above my head here. So try to hear if you can hear a lot of noise leak and how clear it is. I will have it around 70% volume, but then I'll pause it and then go up to 100% volume to see how clearly you guys can hear it as well. Let's go ahead and play this song. 70%. Okay, now I'll go to 100%. 
Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It's actually quite loud and it is quite clear. Now, obviously there's no bass, so you're not gonna get really punchy music because it is using open air and the audio is basically dispersing into the air while it's trying to go into your ears as well. But if you are going to use this maybe for your meetings, I think it's more than capable to give you really good audio. Now, one other audio test I like to do is to hear what the person on the other end of a phone call will hear to see how clear the microphone is. So let me go ahead and play some sample audio using this. Okay, so this is an audio coming directly from the Ring MU6. I've connected it to my MacBook Pro and I'm just recording this into a voice recorder. So can you guys tell the difference? Is it quite clear? I've had a playback and I think it's quite impressive to be honest. So I have a lot of meetings all day remotely. I can see myself using this and rather than using maybe some poor internal microphones on laptops or maybe you have some cheap headphones, this does an excellent job and the flexibility of having it as a wireless one. I think it's so convenient. Now, as a lot of people are working from home these days, they will also have the headphones in for quite a long time as well, and that could start hurting your ears. I can see myself using this because one, it wouldn't start hurting my ears that much, and two, the flexibility of having a wireless headphone like this to just slip on quickly, connected straight away, and having a long battery life is just convenient for my workday. Before we wrap up, I just wanna show you the different controls with the buttons in the user guide, and then what else comes in the box as well. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Inside the box, you get the micro USB cable. You have this nice carry pouch as well, so you don't need to worry about folding this in any way. You can just stick it in there and take it with you in your backpack. You have yourself the quick start guide. Then you've got a set of three reflective shield stickers. So if you do go out at nighttime, you can actually stick this to the back of the headphones. So there's a slot just there. You can put one of these reflective strips just on that as well, just to get a bit more visibility. Let's take a quick look at the user guide to show you the different controls for the buttons. There you go. You guys can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to see all of the different functionalities that you can use with the button. And sometimes simplicity is actually quite good where you can just have a single button to do multiple things. You don't need to fiddle about buttons on both sides or anything like that. And finally, I just want to talk about a little bit of the downsides. For me, it's a shame that it's not USB-C and it is micro USB, but nonetheless, it does give you really good battery life. So I'm not too fussed about that. Secondly, if you do maybe want to use this, if you ride a motorbike and you want to put a helmet on, it would be quite a bit of a struggle to make this comfortably fit inside your helmets. It might start knocking it. Even if you'd like to wear a cap, for example, it might get in the way a little bit and you can see you can't push the hat all the way down. You'll have to put it outside of the headphones and it's a little bit fiddly. And also for those people that wear glasses, it might also be a little bit fiddly as well because this sits in the same position as your glasses do. So you need to get your frame of your glasses and slot them underneath the ring headphones. So it's a little bit of a struggle. I would put my glasses on first and then try to just position this on top of it. So now the headphones are actually just sitting on top of my frames of the glasses and they're not basically touching any part of my head. You'll still be able to hear it, but it's not secure anymore. And I feel like it might slip, especially if I do any workouts or any running with this setup. So overall, I think it's worth the price because this comes in at around 40 pounds. I'll leave a link in the description below if, if you guys want to check it out. It is quite convenient if you really struggle with having in-ear, on-ear or over-ear headphones for long periods of time, this might be the solution. I'm not a big fan of the bone conduction headphones that really send the vibration through your skull. You know, I think the concept is works for a lot of people, but I just feel like I don't want to sit there for long periods of time sending vibrations through my skull, but open ear seems a little bit more reasonable. So I think this is a really good start, especially for a future generation of headphones that might use this technology. So definitely check it out. Any questions as usual, drop a comment down below. If you did like this review and you like other headphone reviews or just generally all things tech, I have a couple of new episodes out every week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those ones. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.